Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I had a user ask for how to morph something and how to make something mechanical. I think I can do that same tutorial in one project. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So, of course, the first step is create new design. Alright, friends. So, the first question was down here on the shape generator video that I created. And Adrian down here asked how to extrude between two shapes on a five inch square. So this was the idea of what they're trying to make. So let me show you how to make something similar pretty darn quick. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is rename it and this is gonna be vent adapter. And then also, since the user mentioned inches, I'm gonna change it to inches, which I rarely do. And I'm gonna update it, but that way it'll fit what the user is asking about. The first thing you would do is bring out a shape and the user said five inches. So what I'm going to do is hold down shift and stretch this a little and then I'm going to type five and press enter. So everything snapped to five inches, but I don't want it to be five inches in this direction. I only want it to be half an inch. I also think it would look cooler if this is rounded. So I'm going to type 0.25. That's too much. So I'm going to try 0.1. I'm not used to how much it rounds when I use the inch measurements. Now I don't want the underneath round, so I'm going to cut this in half. When I stretch it out, you remember how we made it half an inch thick? Notice I'm using the black handles to stretch this. I'm gonna make it 0.25 inches this direction. And then when I select the two items, I can group them and it cuts it in half. And when I press the letter D on the keyboard, it drops it down. Alrighty friends, so let's build the tube first. I'm gonna put the work plane on the top of this shape. I'm gonna scroll down and find the tube. When we drop the tube on, it's got a radius right now of a half inch. I'm gonna change it to 1.5, so it'll be a three inch tube. I'm gonna change the wall thickness to 0.1. And I'm going to change the sides to 64. And then I am going to stretch it to 2.5 inches high. That seems a little higher than I want, so I'm going to change it to just 2. In a minute, we'll cut the hole through. Right now, I simply want to grab the two pieces, click a line, make the red one the master, and choose center and center. All right, friends, for the transition stages, there are a ton of ways to do this. You could do it with the cone. Uh, real quickly, I'm not going to use this, but I do want to show you. The coolest thing is to take this top radius and make it 0.4, and all of a sudden it becomes a shape that you can taper pretty slick. You can adjust those with the black handles, but I don't want that one. Uh, you could also use the half sphere. Once again, if you bring this out, use the black handles to stretch it till it's exactly the way you want, and then align it. Instead, though, I am going to play with the paraboloid. Now, I am going to remind you that there are other ones down here in all that are pretty slick, but once you understand the technique, it's really easy. So I'm going to use the black handle to stretch it as far across as I want, black handle this way, black handle this way. Now the reason I use those instead of the white handles is because it moves one direction at a time, which is easier to get your bearings with. So I am stretching this up to find the exact style I want. I've got my steps maxed out. I think that's going to be pretty slick. I'm going to just simply grab those three pieces and make sure they are aligned once again, making the red one the master. I'm going to take these three shapes and I'm going to group them and you can see that our first part of our project is complete. This is a transition to a hose, probably a lot larger than the user wanted, but the idea is just how for you to make the one you want. Real quickly, I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground and let's ungroup this for just a moment. Let's take the one in the middle and do Control D to duplicate it and push that duplicate way below and make it a hole. Now let's click on that hole and hide it and then quickly regroup our shapes. Now you can see over here, I accidentally made a note. Uh, to get rid of those, you simply click on it and hit delete. I'm gonna show all, I'm gonna click on that little shape and I'm gonna use control up to raise it up and I don't want it all the way up, I just want it part of the way up. And then when I grab those two and group them, if you look underneath, friends, we just cut in the transition. 
Now all we've got to do is cut out the regular hole. I'm going to do that with a whole cylinder. If we hold down shift and stretch, we can get it inside the shape. And once again, I think I made mine three inches, so I'm going all the way to the three inch mark. That would be to the outside edge. I'm going to hold down shift and bring it in one or two clicks. Let's do a line and see if we like that. Once again, if you've got specific numbers you are aiming for, then you can work on those. You can see I am really close, but there's a little bit of gap. I'm going to switch to the tiniest, or I'm going to shut this actually off. And then I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift so it goes right around. And I'm going to just get that right to the edge just like that. And then if I make it totally round, boom, I think we've got it perfect. I'm going to sink it in so I'm sure it cuts through. And friends, let's group and check out our cool project. Boom. Just like that, we've made it. Real quick, let's add holes to cut it out. Once again, cylinder. You would want to know how wide your screws are. I don't know that, so I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. I'm going to make them taller. So let's use Fit View to zoom in. That way I'm sure they cut out. Let's real quickly align these. Friends, when I do this, I like to click align, click on the large shape, and I want to go to this corner, and then I also want to go to the front edge. Now I'm going to turn my grid back on, and I'm going to go a quarter inch. And I'm going to tap once in, once down. Boom. That is a good spot to put that. I'm going to hit duplicate, which is control D, or you could click this button. I'm going to just move that other one over there. And you can just get to the corner and do the same trick. Once again, a line. I'm going to click on that for the master. And I want this edge. And I'm going to look at it from this corner. I want this edge. And then remember the trick was one over, one up. This time I'm going to shift select so I got those two shapes. I'm going to do control D. And let's just nudge them across with the arrow key. If you ever hit the wrong arrow key, just back up. And then when I've got them over there, I'm actually going to group those two. And now when I do a line, I can click on this edge. And I want it to go to this corner. And then I simply need to click on them and go one over, one in. And boom, all four are aligned. One final group. And bam, we have got a mountable vent for whatever project you need. Alrighty friends, there you have a technique for creating your own vent adapter. Friends, uh, this user mentioned inches. I would always work in centimeters. I just find it so much easier. But my friends, this showed you how to switch to inches if that was what you were looking for. Adrian, thanks tons for the questions. I hope this helps you out. If not, make sure you ask another question down below. And of course, a quick shout out to Gamer Gamer Gamers. Thanks for the idea. Something mechanical. Hopefully this works for you. If not, just leave a comment on the next video and I'll see what I can do. Friends, as always, thank you for the support, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.